Evening all, welcome back to Kicking Dust. And today, today is a CPM video. Ugh. Ugh. Look at my <laughs> my insane tiredness for this topic. Uh, I joke, actually. It's actually a positive one. I um, Again, people seem to think I'm negative to the whole CPM thing. I can't think why. <laughs> Troll face. Um, but no, seriously, let me, let me just state my position once for all. By the time this video comes out, voting may even be beginning to happen. Um, and uh, you're probably going to see quite a few videos coming through on candidates. So we're actually going to interview some of the candidates. We're going to have a chat with them. We're going to see what drives and motivates them. Um, I'm probably going to be a little bit biased and tell you who to vote for. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am. I'm just going to say, well, these are good people. They're not. Um, but no, seriously, you vote for who you want. But, um, you know, I'll know that you didn't vote for who I said. And therefore, when, uh, when the social engineering report is given to me from you all, I will not be happy and I will hunt you down and there will be... In the middle of the night, a load of black clad men will jump into your room. They'll put a little handkerchief over your face. And then all of a sudden you'll wake up tied to a chair in the middle of a big warehouse. And I'll just be in front of you saying, so you voted for this person then, did you? I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, before we get into CPM, watch this. This is probably the most incredible bit of lodging that ever has happened ever. Watch Stefan there. Their entire team is at the end of this elevated ledge. They're, the entire team. This is an ambush. They're all down there. Watch two. We've got two reps on Stefan. Watch how he tanks their entire team while killing them as well. This is something special. Very special. It is pretty pretty good um lodging is actually quite fun as well and that's right yeah no plasma cannon yeah that's right bro yeah no plasma cannon yeah 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 that's right um but yeah so yeah i mean look at that <laughs> tank in here it's just amazing we've we've topped out on points as well but it wasn't about that it was about you know literally stefan killing them all um so at this point we're saying stefan get back get back look at that we've then got one rep on him now got two reps on him oh i'm being shot so this is just again wonderful wonderful this is the game this is this is what the ccp should be proud they created is a <clears throat> a tactical shooter at this level and depth is this is this is the the success that they had and i really do hope that people acknowledge them for that because you know think about it every suit is a particular suit with a particular module figure configuration then there's certain tactics certain equipment this this <clears throat> i think to me this really showed that ccp are are actually very very capable company um, and they created something just an entirely next level for gaming shooters. But the thing is, it was poorly marketed. It was it was poorly poor poor machine. You know why put an, a cutting edge bit of technology on um, an old console? So you know what I mean? They kind of got that wrong. But anyway, we'll, we, we've talked, we've waxed lyrical about that many times. And there we go. Look at that. Uh, none of our team died, and we just wiped them all out. Stefan got probably about ten or so kills on that single piece alone. Insane. Right, let's get back to CPM. <sighs> right, so where to begin? Well, CPM is beginning, it's happening. Um, I'm, I like to kind of approach things in a framework because I am that kind of white collar douchebag. And to be honest, partly the, what I would like to do or the way I'd approach this would be, number one, what is the point of the CPM? What are they gonna do? And I don't, I don't mean that as a troll, I mean, what actually is their, their mission statement? What's their mandate? And their mandate is gonna be the, I guess, continuation of supporting dust 514 as a i guess a community base group of people and they're going to you know look for feedback look for you know direction and etc and that's really what they are going to do they may have some input to legion eventually but legion's not even a product yet it's not even a greenlit product there's nothing there really for legion just yet it is supposedly to continue dust now, that gives me one question to begin with. What actually is CCP's plan with Dust? No one knows. I don't think even CCP know. I think CCP have kind of got this product. It's a bit of a pig. It's a bit of a dog, as in, you know, it's, it's there. It probably needs a bit of investment. It probably needs a bit of love, and it probably needs a bit of focus. Um, but they're not really going to do that because they're just sort of starting again. Uh, well, you know, they're kind of making version 2 on PC, and that's called Legion. So this product this f finished actual live product that people can invest in and buy now is kind of being pushed to the side a little bit it feels certainly like it is which in business terms is 
pretty stupid because if you've got a product that actually earns you money right now and even if it's a bit of a dog the first thing you should do is fix that product so that's pretty much what Ritati is doing and I think he's doing a great job of that um, to be honest it, you know, that is really what they should have been doing from um, from the word of FanFest being released is let's just get somebody you know to kind of just manage this product guide it and then leave it and if it then turns into Legion great if it doesn't oh well and I think uh, you know, a trick is being missed here because the potential is is that if they could just switch this game to be cost positive, you know, with very little actual ongoing cost support, this could be something they just leave running for years, and people will just keep playing it. Like Planet Side One, you know, they they finished that game and then they buggered off to do other games, uh, but they they kept the game running for years, and it it was kind of cool. It was a good time actually because things were kind of worked. Um, and I think to be honest, there would not be a bad time in that but that would then mean that the mandate of the CPM is entirely changed again so hopefully that's clear because you either have a CPM who are going to manage the dismantlement of this game and transition into Legion or you have a CPM that is going to be told this game is not being switched off for another year therefore improve it for the new player experience so we continue to keep kind of a number of people coming into the game and moving through the, because there's such a massive difference of scope and skill sets required for that role alone this is why I think the CPM one is poorly managed to begin with if they don't tell you the mandate right now now I know that they've given a, a kind of statement that says it's going to do this this and this but the reality is is they haven't made that clear a lot of the players are assuming that actually their remit in the CPM is going to be the dismantlement and closure of this game. And if that's not the case, and it, you know, again, it needs CCP to make a business decision before this process. Because if you get a group of people who are really quite adept at the whole corporation management, new player experience, you know, uh, kind of the, the social aspect of this game, then they're fit for purpose. If it's going to be the dismantlement, they're not. So you see my issue with this straight off the bat is that it's kind of poorly it's poorly already it's already poorly de deployed and that's my issue with it so far anyway more exciting cpm chat next time mm, great that was sarcasm by the way it really was the sarcasm massive massive levels of sarcasm whereas i sit back and i sip my coffee i feel the bitterness in my throat see ya